Hey, welcome to the channel. Thanks for showing up on the farm today. Thanks for the help. We really appreciate it. Outfit check. We currently have the nice, I don't even know what you'd call this, really nice long sleeve heavy duty material with the off blue shorts with the white legs, black socks and black crops. And since you are super mega observant, we have flooring on in these power wash, silly birds, but we have flooring on. We will get started on the house project stuff soon. We're trying to figure out what we need to get for ceiling yet, get can lights and stuff up there. We still got to do some more trimming just like this around which windows here. Yeah, like this. Got to get this window done so it'll look like this. And then we'll be ready for siding. But that's not going to be a today thing because we got other stuff we got to get done. But before we get started, if you enjoy our videos, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have the time, if you could watch it all the way through, we'd really appreciate it because it does wonders in the YouTube algorithm. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you're new to the channel, my name is Cole and welcome to Corn Star Farms. Corn Star Farms has always kind of been a down here performer and we want to become an up here performer. And the only way to do that is to learn more about farming. Dad and I are going to be heading off to a meeting today, all day meeting. We're going to be learning a lot about farming from some of the best corn and soybean farmers in the world. So while we're doing that, we're going to leave you guys with Cooper and good luck because he's a handful. And before we jump over to Cooper, a special thank you to Van Wall Equipment for allowing Cooper to use this John Deere 6155M, the S350 mower, and the 560M John Deere baler for his entire mowing season. Thank you, Van Wall. All right, we're going to go for our first mow. Let everything turn on here. This thing humdings are right down the road, going 26 mile an hour. We are going downhill, but it does go 26, and it is like riding on a cloud. I am very impressed. It's got suspension, front independent front suspension, I believe, and then it's got cap suspension, and then uh, maybe that's it, but it rides incredibly smooth. And then one thing different too, compared to what I have, compared to this, is this is front wheel assist. The tires are bigger, so it absorbs a little more than the small tires. When they brought it out, they had the tires stanced out. So I think from the inside of the tire to the inside of the other tire is six foot. So we're really wide, which is really nice. You have a little more stance and it's not as tippy. So it rides significantly better than what I'm used to. This is crazy. They've jumped up. 20 something years, so I mean, it's gonna be a little different. All right, we're pulling into our first field here. This is like two and a half acres. It's got an alfalfa grass mix, clover, all that fancy stuff. All right, that two and a half acres took exactly 30 minutes with 11 and a half foot mower. Not too shabby. On the next field, the ride is so smooth you can't even tell we're moving. Can you tell we're moving? No, you can't background wasn't moving you wouldn't know we were moving driving uh, we just we just pulled in the coals we're mowing we're going it is let me look at the time hold on time is 252 then there's like two acres here we'll see how long this takes we just caught something in the mower here we're going along and they just put this wire in last year to our dryer shaft or our bin site and i'm feeling we left something in here. No. That would be a problem. We hit. Chip this one. Bent that one. That one's crooked. Bent this one. Oh, that ain't good. We're going to have to get new blades before we can start doing any more. So I'm going to have to go to John Deere dealer and get some blades. Good. We're in a neighbor's drawway here, and uh, there's a decent little draw that runs down right at the bottom here. And it's got this one little finger. <clears throat> and as wide as I am, there's nowhere to turn around, so I gotta back all the way up to the road. Kind of a pain. Kind of a pain, but this is still way faster than my old mower, and I'm way more comfort, a little more smoothness, well, a lot more smoothness, cooler cab and uh, a way nicer mower. So sometimes you just gotta sacrifice the little things here and, and do it. And just the pro backer upper I am, it was not a big problem at all. So we just got another little chunk knocked out. This is probably an acre, I'd say, maybe so. Uh, my friend Levi lives in this house right up here. 
um, rents it from a guy from our local neighbor. So uh, local neighbor, our neighbor. So he said I can mow this this year. They usually just mow it for grass. Oh, I just mow it as a lawn. But I, I told him I said, hey, I just mow that for alfalfa or, or for grass. Sorry, and save you some time mowing. So he said sure thing. So we brought tractor over and uh, we mowed it. And then there were some drawways in the back. He let us mow. So I did those to um, so the next field. I think we're gonna go to one of my neighbor's fields. Uh, my sunglasses on. Um, one of my neighbor's fields. He let, he's let me do all this stuff this year. He said it saves him time for mowing or battling in his drawways. So if I can mow them and get some bales off of it, he said that works for him. So very nice to him. If you're watching this, thank you. Um, appreciate it. So we're gonna head there. It's only about a mile. Well, right now we're mowing some stuff that used to be a guy's yard, but he moved and he doesn't really uh, mow it anymore. And so this stuff is tall. I hope you can see it back there on the mower. But this thing is just eating through it. Nothing stopping it. Nothing. Nothing. Get this done. We're gonna go back to that draw there. Look at that sunset. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. But if we get done at a decent time um, here, and it's not too dark, we might roll, whoa, look at that sunset. We might roll to the next farm. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, look at that sunset. Oh, wow. Oof. Oof. It's hard to get a good angle here, but. Oh. Alright, I think we're to the point of the night where we need some light. It's dark in here. I believe this knob here turns them on. Let's find out. Woo, baby! It's about as bright as day in here, man. Do you know one thing, just from what I can see right now, these lights right here are too bright on the hood. Let me see if I can adjust those. That's kind of annoying. The back's pretty good. I like the back. I like the side. Make it light on the side. That that's annoying. Might have to. Hopefully those move because that you can't even hardly see the in front of you. I know camera is different than in person, but it's definitely hard to see past the hood. Uh, maybe. Come on, let me back clean my windows. Get rid of one of these. Ooh. Oh, we should probably be paying attention. Knock out the neighbor's corn here. That's better, but it still is a normal. This is good news. I think it's just from transporting it. Can move them. Like this. Ooh, I'm gonna try that. Let's see what it looks like. Much better. I should probably do the back ones because my back fenders are really bright too. Day two, we're mowing. We're at a neighbor's field here that we're doing. It's next up to ours. We got August with us. He's sleeping on the floor. It's hot out. So it's a great day to be in the cab. Yeah, a little bit windy, but not too bad. One thing nice on these hot days is we come over here on the tractor. And we got a little bit of a cooler. It's got a little switch right here to turn it on. Try not to run over the neighbor's beans here. Uh, I got a couple of star crunches in there, a couple of Gatorades, water. <clears throat> Keeps it cool on these hot days. Refreshing. Very refreshing. Just like this new smell of this cap. Refreshing. The smell of cut hay. Refreshing. So nice. So nice. <clears throat> but we're moving along here. August. What are you figuring a new tractor? What are you figuring a new tra- Oh. Okay. All right. I get it. Is it because it's green? What's the problem? Why don't you like it? Huh? He says the air feels good down here. There's a nice event right here for him. So if you're looking for a tractor for the vent for your dog, this may be the one. All right. We're mowing along. We're going nine mile an hour. I'm just kind of going whatever's comfortable in each drawway. Some drawways I'm going four, some I'm going nine. So. It's amazing the ride difference between this tractor and this RK7140. I know there's like probably almost 30 year difference 
between um, the tractors, but this thing just rides so much smoother, and uh, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. But it's crazy. I'm going nine mile an hour, nine and a half, whatever. It's not feel like I'm going that fast for sure. If you can tell, I mean, I'm. My hand is very steady right now, and I don't have a steady hand, so it just shows how smooth it is in here. Right in this area, we kind of had a big washout here, so we had it smoothed out, and then we widened it back up so it matched the rest of the drawway, so it's kind of a short grass here. It's still growing. I probably shouldn't be mowing it, but I want to get this corn mowed off that's in it, because otherwise when I come back in on my next cutting, this corn's going to be like six foot tall. So I'm hoping this will stun it. I don't know if it'll kill it, but it'll definitely shorten it. So there's a big hole up here somewhere. We gotta watch for him. Oh, oh boy. There's a big hole back there that I broke an axle off in. Um, I always raise the mower when I go over it. Yeah, mower, this is rough. Um, yeah, last, well, we filmed it uh, when I broke the axle off of it two years ago. On our Massey 2745 is going along, mowing just like we're doing now. Smoked the hole. Was it going that fast? Probably four. Broke Dax right off. That was awesome. That sucked. But what do you do? I know yesterday I was in the draw, another drawway that's got a big hole in it. And we found that one, so that's a plus. We're doing good. We haven't hit any holes yet. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. It's never fun when you hit a hole do a lot of damage really fast. We're on one of our last farms. Well, this is the last farm that we own that I'm uh, mowing. I still have a couple for a neighbor that I'm gonna mow. Uh, well, I, it's for me, but he's letting me do his field, so. Uh, custom ground, if you wanna say. This one's taking a little longer just because I think there's a hole in here somewhere, and I don't remember if we fixed it. And I entirely don't want to find it with a tire. So I'm kind of going slower, which kind of sucks. And I still got to go bail after this. And it's 6 o'clock. Still got about at least 30 minutes left here. So it'll be 7 before we get home. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can get all that guy's stuff in. We are bailing. I haven't filmed much yet. I will eventually here. But we're doing custom work for the guy, uh, Zach, our neighbor custom mail for him. Finally get things rolling. I'm gonna let you guys go though. I'm just informing you that we're rolling. We got lots of bugs tonight. If you're wondering, yes, that is all bugs. Holy cow. That is crazy. Currently 10.33. No dew. We are racing the storm. We got lots of lightning. We're building rocks. I mean rocks. Look at that bale. That's a good looking bale. Hmm. This new Holland baler is amazing. I'm gonna be running a John Deere here in a couple days. We'll see the difference. See which one's better. Which one do I like? Which one has some pros? Which one has some cons? Which one does the tightest bail? I don't know. We'll find out. A couple days later, this rain. Uh, the other night, I think we got about half inch to an inch. Some places got two inches. Dad washed a tractor all up. We're looking sharp. We're looking new. Well, we're on 27.8 hours. This thing's gonna need an overhaul soon. Oh boy. Got our tools on the on the ground here. The other day when I was mowing, I hit a rock and bent a couple blades. So I went and got, well, dad went and got some new ones. So now I just got them in the cab because I had to wait like a half an hour to, for my blades. So we are rolling. Done talking to my neighbor, Rick. Um, we went and looked at some other drawways of his. Looks like I'm gonna do a couple more. I think there's like three or four or more uh, drawways that I can do. So we went and scoped them out, kind of showed me uh, how to get into them, the best way to approach them. So that's what we're gonna do. Actually, one of them is right here. We're driving by as we speak. So we're gonna pull in there and start cutting. I think we're probably in our last field first cutting. Uh, just do another field of bricks. Our neighbor, I'm gonna set you guys down sec second there we go but yeah we're doing the last field here i think i might have to go for both my friend presley uh the new place we're moving into has like three acres so i think he might have me mow that i'm not entirely sure gotta call him but we're moving right along here sorry i'm getting a little off i'm trying to steer and talk 
but moving along at seven and a half mile an hour. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can go about as fast as you want with these mowers. It just kind of depends on how smooth your ground is and how fast you want to go. Like this field is just really smooth through this drawway or waterway, whatever you call them. You guys call them waterways or drawways? We had a, my friend Presley was telling me that he's never heard them called drawways, so they started hanging out with me when we were younger. So I don't know if that's just us thing or if other people say that too. Let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna get out here in a minute when I'm done and show you guys kind of how this mower works. And show you all the crimpers and stuff. I was gonna kind of go over the tractor here for you guys, kind of show you what, what kind of fancy stuff we got going on since we're finally done mowing and I can kind of show you stuff. So first start off when you come in, you get your buddy seat. Over here, you got your cooler. You got three waters in there. I'm trying to be a healthy person. And then right here, you can open your window if you want. Get some fresh air. Hot day like today, you want that shut. Come up here, you got a million vents. You got your key turned on. You got your windshield wiper for the front windshield wiper. You got your headlights. You got your blinker. Then you got your uh, high-low for lights and then your horn. Then you got your neutral shifter for forward and backwards up here. Come over here, you got your throttle. Um, and then you got A through D for your shifter. And then you got one, two, three, four for uh, your shifting. So if I use these buttons here, you can watch the numbers there change. Those are your gears. And then you can shift here, five and seven, or you can shift here. And then you can also shift here. Um, these buttons here are programmable for really anything you want to do but this is also for your loader so um, like raise raise your lower loader lower your loader tilt your loader then this button here when you're driving you can press that if you're on forward you press that and it'll make you go reverse and then if you're going reverse you press it even makes you go forward and you don't have to touch a clutch so um, let me get into lower gear here Watch this. so as you can see we're moving and then no clutch, just press this button and it throws you in reverse. Look at that. Press it again, and you're going forward. No clutch needed. Then throw it neutral, you just tap that, neutral. So then these buttons down here, I think are for the, I think that's, I don't know what these do. But I know it's for the loader. And over here, you got your three point for your raise and lower. Um, then right here you can set your uh, RPM. So if you want to be set at 2,000 RPMs for what you're doing, then you can just throw the thermos, the hydrostat all the way forward, and it's at 2,000. That's what I got it set up for mowing. Here, your uh, PTO turn on. You got your hydraulics. Plug your phone in. Aux cord. Um, then you got all your buttons over here. You got your flashers, your lights, um, AC. Then this little knob here adjusts what you look at here so you can kind of have different things on your page. Um, but yeah, we also got a sunroof. It's a little dirty. Just washed it. Must have got a little soap up there. Got visor, mirror, yo! Another visor back here, radio. And then got a nice little handle to hold on to, I believe. That's what that's for. I'm not sure. We'll hop outside here and I'll show you guys. Uh, let me kick my mower over. So I'll show you guys what it looks like underneath. Now under here, you got your turtle shells. That's what these are. And then this is where your blades are. It's a little nicked. Um, that one's bent. Hit some stuff. Jeez. Um, but as these things spin really fast, these blades spin. And then that's what cuts your grass. And then it goes back into these black things right here, which are called your crimpers. Um, the grass goes up in there and it takes the grass and cracks it. So if you grab the grass here, it's kind of hard to tell. But if you get look, here, here's one. Really easy to bend it right here. It's because it's crimped, it's cracked, and that helps with it drying faster. See how it folds really easy? You can kind of find the easy spots and it just folds. Um, that cracks the stock or your crop so it dries faster. I think they say it takes like a day of drying time off. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's right. So this goes back in those rollers and you can adjust your rollers up here with these big springs on the tension. This is how you adjust your wind row. You can move these fins in to make your wind row tighter and then you can move that top fin down. I think it depends on how far you want to throw it. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Come over here, 
to these big springs. That's what helps with your ride. So if you grab right here, it, this whole mower kind of floats. So those big springs help it float. So like if you hit uh, like a gopher mount or something, the whole mower just kind of go over it. And then it also kind of just does this all day. Just rides nice, nicely. You got your hydraulic locks for going up and down and then you can lock your hydraulic up there. So if you're going down the road, you can lock that so it doesn't actually swing out or something. One thing I did notice that I really like about having a 3.1 beset instead of a bumper pull one or a hitch pull is it's got this extra gearbox. So you can literally crank this thing as tight as you want and it never messes with the pitch of the PTO shaft. It's always straight. So a lot easier on knuckles. You're not always bending them. Back here, you got your button, turn your PTO on. You press that, I think it turns it on. I don't know if you had to hold it or what, but that's what that's for. Then you can raise and lower your three-point. All your hydraulic hookups. Cap, suspension. But, all right, well, I'm going to call my friend Presley and see if I'm going to go bail his stuff or mow his stuff. And if I am, I'll go over there. Looking at what we've cut. It looks like it's cut really nice. It's short, right to the ground. It's cut perfect, I think. Nice and flat. No tall stuff. Nice windrows. We're all running this tractor. I've put, um, I can tell you, I've put 20 hours on it. Um, really, no complaints. The only complaint that I had to have is the cab's a little small over here, trying to get in and out. But other than that, I love it. The suspension is insane. Riding in these drawways compared to what I'm used to is way different. Um, so much smoother. Um, the comfortability in the cab's nice. The buttons are laid out great. Like I said, no complaints. Sunroof's cool. Really haven't used it yet, but then this monitor here is really nice. I mean, it's easy, self-explanatory. Don't really know how to use that, but maybe I'll be learning that soon. Not sure. Oh, I missed a spot. Got a mill. Get in this field. You gotta drive through the ditch. Got these telephone poles here that you gotta watch out for. You don't wanna hit one of them. I hit one with the planter this year and that was enough for me. Whoa, pole. Oh, we're good. We're good. One thing nice is this tractor, it's stanced out really wide. And so when you're on these side hills, you don't feel as scared tipping over. Because with my other tractor, the front wheels aren't very far apart. And it's kind of sketchy. I was just getting ready to drop the mower, which is right here, into that shed there. My neighbor just called and asked me if I would come uh, mow his six acres, break it and bail it. And I said, yeah, I can. And it's funny, I told him it was funny you just texted me that because I was literally just getting ready to drop the mower. So I'm glad he texted me before I dropped it because I've been knowing if I had to hook back up. It's not hard, but then you just gotta do that again. So we're gonna go cut that quick and then we'll drop the mower and then we'll start uh, we're gonna hook this baby up to the baler. Here at the six acres, just then uh, getting our outside pass done. And then we're gonna start going back and forth here. Mower's cut good. This alfalfa is a little, I think, water lodge, so some of the stalks are laying sideways, but there's not much you can do about it. Yeah, do about it. So in some places it doesn't cut the best, but like I said, I don't think there's much you can do about that. Um, I know it was pretty bad at my place where I was cutting my hay and my alfalfa, but like I said, yeah, just gotta cut it, I guess. We're gonna square this off and then we're gonna start windrowing back and forth. This alfalfa is kind of growing sideways and it kind of leaves this stuff here and it just gets all intertwined and once it gets heavy, it kind of just falls into itself. I believe it's what it is and it gets this like when plant grows this way and the other one's growing this way and then you got one growing this way. Kind of just, this is what you get. And I don't think there's much you can do about it. So uh, yeah, I've, I've noticed <laughs> it does it more when like the uh, alfalfa is really tall and gets really thick. If you can get it mowed before it gets really, really thick and it sits for a long time, I, you can usually kind of prevent this. It's kind of a crop loss, but not bad. Oh, who do we have here? Who are you? Huh? Hi. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Just got done mowing. Got Gary here. He's gonna show us how to unhook this thing. 
So far, it looks like you just take the jack off and put it in the jack stand here. I guess this is where these will come in handy. We just lower it with the three point. Hold this button here. You can drop it from back here. Look at that. That makes it easy. To unhook and hook this thing, you put the jack down, lower the three point, under your safety chain, your PTO shaft, your uh, five hoses. Then you just pull these pins out here, slide your three point off, and you're good to go. Does that take five minutes? Maximum. Maximum five minutes. Five minutes to unhook, five minutes to hook. That's 10 minutes right there. 10 minutes of your life. Easy. Easy. Pulled into the first field we cut. Um, we're raking. We're raking. Just get this raked up so it can be drying. So hopefully by the John Deere guys are here, we can try that baler out. Make sure everything's working. Make sure I understand how to use it. I'm hoping. That looks a little green, so I might have to wait a little while. Otherwise, I'll just have to learn it myself. Figure it out. Can't be too hard. We got the round baler in here with the tractor. We got Gary hooking up all the hydraulics, PTO shaft, hitch pin. They had to slide the draw bar out just a little bit to uh, give us some more room to get the hitch back a little further. We got Brian in here putting the monitor in for the baler. And then I think he's going to hook up some GPS stuff. Got the fancy globe up there. So it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. Uh, learning the John Deere stuff, but if Gary can figure it out, I think I can. We uh, got the baler all set up, ready to go. We tried it out, things are working. Gary put a nail under my other tractor tire since it's a case and got the tire flat. So now I gotta drop the baler and put the John Deere on my rake and go rake today and bale tomorrow. It's kind of weird how that works. John Deere shows up, my case breaks down. So we're gonna drop this thing quick, hook up to the rake. Go rake some hay. So uh, we're for a raking. We're gonna rake today. Today is Thursday, Friday. We're gonna bail tomorrow, which will be Saturday. That's the day that follows Friday. Um, we got a lot to rake. I know that. Um, I think we have like 10 fields to do today, and then. Uh, we'll rake the rest that I cut the other day on um, so we'll break Sunday and then we're going to pick up hay Monday get that all put away because we don't want our hay to get rained on and then this morning I had to go cut for a neighbor so we'll go uh, rake his stuff probably Tuesday uh, depending on how long it takes to dry down uh, yeah that's what I know we're raking getting something done. Looks like we haven't got much done today because right when we got started we got a flat tire on the 7040. So we had to switch to this. Which I'm not complaining because this is way smoother. I'm going to say that again. It's way smoother. It's awesome. Um, yeah. We're raking. We're raking. Oh man. Camera's dirty. There we go. We got one wing up, one wing down. It's about where my brain is half used right now. I'm ready to be out of this thing. We, uh, a local town is having, it's, uh, I don't even want to call it, town carnival. It's carnival. It was this week, weekend. It's Friday, so we're going to go, I'm going to go in, hang out with the friends. I, there was a parade tonight, but I missed that. There's a car show tomorrow. I was hoping to bring my pickup, but I'll probably be bailing, so I don't think that's going to happen. Right there is it. We're done. I'm gonna head home, pull this thing up. We're at it. We are out of here. I am ready to go home. This YouTube didn't monetize videos, demonetize, because I am absolutely jamming out right now on this fine Friday, 7:30, heading home, gonna go shower and have a great night. Just this is great. This is great. Got my visor down. This is just great. A little bit of a hint of a song I was just listening to. It's just as easy as one, two, three. I don't, I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but it's a good one. Come on. We just, we can't, we can't jam the music on the YouTubes. Sorry. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the Baylor. Deuces. See ya.